If you think about it, the chance of you having met the life partner sitting next to you is basically zero. It shouldn't have happened. You had to be in the exact right place at the exact right time. Your parents had to be in the exact right place at the exact right time. In fact, every single generation before you had to have done exactly what they did for you two to have met. The chance is so close to zero that betting against it would be the easiest money you've ever made. So the way that I take that is either I am the luckiest man in the world for bumping into this angel, either every single star had to align in my favor or, or it was going to happen. We were meant to find each other. Two people born and brought up over a hundred miles apart, but so unbelievably designed for each other. That's what I choose to believe. Now that I see what my life is like with you, Drisha, I refuse to believe that my life could have been without you. So, standing here today, underneath this vast, vast cosmos, surrounded by all the people we love, Drisha, I want to thank you because now when I look at the same sky every single night, I don't see endless, uncaring emptiness. I see peace. You show me the stars where I previously saw the void. Meeting you, Drisha, will always be my greatest achievement. Meeting you, Drisha, has given me the conviction that the universe had a plan for us all along. And whether or not it was written in the stars and we were destined to meet, that as long as we are together, everything is as it's meant to be. And that the same fate that brought us together, that allowed me to find my home and you to find yours, that fate will also guide us forward. I truly believe that. When you probe hard enough into our existence, when you try and use cold, hard logic to calculate the purpose of our lives and the true reasons why we do things, none of it makes any sense. And that was me for my entire life. But you, Drisha, you have made me realize that while the end point of life may be empty, while every flicker eventually does go out, that doesn't make the purpose meaningless. The purpose of life is love. Nothing cures like love, nothing protects like love, nothing endures like love. And so what can the objective be but to give and receive as much love as you possibly can in the time that you have, to not try and change the universe, but to see it as your canvas, to paint your love story across. <laughs> Mark Twain once said, the two most important moments are when you were born and when you found out why. And now that I've found out why, my life is so simple because it doesn't matter how much I probe, the answer to every single question, no matter how complex, is the same. I love you, Trisha. My wife. Sans son, c'est